After my mother passed away, my grandma would tell my siblings and I stories about my mom's life to try and cheer us up. One of the stories she told us was about my mom's family and the walls. One day, when my mom was about four years old, her family moved into a new home. One night, my mom was told she couldn't leave the dinner table until she finished her vegetables. Angrily, she said, my family in the walls wouldn't make me finish. My grandparents thought nothing of it. Kids will be kids and they make up imaginary friends, so they let her go along with it. About seven years went by, and my mom still regularly talked about her family in the walls. When my mom was twelve years old, my grandparents had heard enough about her family in the walls. They finally told my mom to stop talking about the family, or she would be in deep trouble. Hesitantly, she agreed, and never talked about them again. I recently bought my grandma's house, the same home my mom spent most of her childhood in. While moving in, I found a small door behind an old china hutch. Inside is something I still can hardly believe. The house is filled with secret crawl spaces and tunnels, something my grandma had no idea about until now. From cracks in the wall and air vents, you can see almost every room in the house. I have found stockpiles of food, water, and clothing. Among all of these are hundreds of Polaroid photos, all of one person, my mother. The pictures show my mom from age four to 20, doing various activities from eating to sleeping, even taking out the trash. So, who was my mother's family in the walls?